Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This one will feel familiar but new. I wanted to try out some new cable variants I had floating in my head. One thing led to another and I ended with this beauty. And I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. This quab sweater is ultra comfy with its massive balloon sleeves, cloak like hood, and wide body that makes your hips look great. It's by far my favorite thing I've made this past month, which for most folks won't seem impressive, but when you make as much as we do over here, that's saying something. Speaking of, if you're new here, welcome and enjoy your stay. We put out tutorials at least twice a week, so click that bell and don't miss out. Now it's time for me to go work on that, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 700 grams of yarn. That's 840 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCTDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. I'm using six stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting started on this top, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook and we're all going to start off by making a chain of 9. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of 2. From here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off. Or the third chain from our hook. So insert, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through three. Yarn over, insert into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we have our first half double crochet row, we're going to be doing one more. So chain two, we're going to flip our work and put one half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch for the half double crochet. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Now that we have our first two rows, we're now going to get started on row number three or our first cable stitch row. So to get that started, we're going to chain two and flip our work. From here, we're going to be inserting into that first half double crochet that we did. So we're going to start with a front post treble crochet. And along the outsides of our cables, we're going to have what we're calling pillars for video sake. So what we're going to do is yarn over twice. Into that first half double crochet from our first row, not counting our chain two, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through. We should have one, two, three, four loops on our hook. So from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. We have our first pillar, and now we can get started on our cable. So we're going to start with a set of two front post double treble crochets. So we're going to start by doing a yarn over of one, two, and three. Looking at our first half double crochet row, we are going to skip the next two half double crochets and then insert into that third with a front post double treble. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And like I said, we're going to be doing a set of two, so one more into that next half double crochet. So yarn over one two, 
three times. Insert your hook into that next half double crochet from our first row. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. From here, we're going to be working into those two half double crochets that we skipped with another set of two front post double trebles. So yarn over one, two, three times. Inserting your hook into that first half double crochet that we skipped, we're going to insert our hook underneath there, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. And we have one more, so yarn over one, two, three times. Into that last stitch, what we have, insert and pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. To close off our cable stitch section, we're going to do a set of two front post treble crochets into the next two stitches. So yarn over twice. And then into that next available stitch from our first half double crochet row. Insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And one more into the next. Yarn over twice. Insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now our cable stitch section is done. And now, just like how we started this off, we're going to do another front post treble crochet. That's going to be our next outside pillar. So yarn over twice into that second to last stitch. Insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And then just to finish off this row, we're going to put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. Yarn over once, inserting your hook into that last stitch. Yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. From here, we're going to need to make our way all the way back down to the side. So do a chain of two, flip your work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we have half double crocheted all the way down, getting started on our row number five or second cable stitch row, we're going to do a chain of two and flip our work. For our cable stitch rows, we're always gonna start off with our pillar. So start with a front post treble crochet into the first stitch that we have from our previous cable stitch section. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Once we have that, we're going to do another set of two front post treble crochets into the first two stitches from our previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice, into that first stitch, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, 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 another one, yarn over twice, into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Once we have that, we're gonna do a set of two front post double treble crochets. So start by yarning over one, two, three times. We're going to skip these next two stitches and then put one front post double treble crochet into the next two. So inserting your hook into that third stitch that we have, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then into the next as well. So yarn over three times, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. Now the last set of two stitches that we're gonna do for this cable stitch row is gonna be a set of two front post double treble crochets going into that window that we just made for ourselves. So to get that started, we're going to yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to hang on to our yarn because it can very easily fall off and we're going to pull this row down towards our first row trying to find these two stitches in this window. So we're going to pull this down and try to find these last two available stitches. So here are mine. Here's my first and here's my second. I'm going to insert my hook behind that first one. 
just like that, then yarn over, pull through that stitch. And then finish off my front post double treble crochet as usual. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, two, two. And that is what the first one looks like. We have our first crossover. And we're going to do the same thing into that last available stitch. So yarn over one, two, three times. Hang on to our yarn, pull our work down, finding that last stitch in that window. Insert your hook underneath, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, 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 and two. And now, our row number five cable is finished. And now we need to finish off this whole row with a front post treble crochet or our pillar. So yarn over twice into that front post treble, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And then the last stitch in this row is going to be a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row pull through and pull through three. To work our way to the next side, do a chain of two, flip our work and put one half double crochet into every stitch. So we've just finished our row number six and this is what our cable should be looking like. From here, we're going to repeat rows three through six until we get the length that we want, making sure that this first row is at the base of our neck. I'm gonna start the next row with you guys and I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So start by doing a chain two, flip your work. We're going to do a repeat of row number three now. So we'll always start with a front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're always gonna be working into the previous cable stitch row. From here, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets, skipping these first two stitches, then inserting your hook into the next two, putting one into each. So yarn over one, two, three. Skip these next two stitches, insert your hook into that third with one front post double treble. And then into that next with another front post double treble. And then just like our third row, put one front post double treble into each of the two stitches that we skipped. Close off with two front post treble crochets and then do our pillar, which is a front post treble crochet and then half double crochet. I'll meet you guys back when we have the length that we want. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with my cable stitch detail and this is the middle cable stitch detail. I have a total of 29 rows and this is 12 inches or 32 centimeters. Now, once when we have this, we're going to need to set this aside so they can work on our side cables. So, getting started on our side cable, we're going to grab our same category four yarn, our same five and a half millimeter hook, and we're all gonna start off by making a chain of 12. Once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of two. This counts as our turning chain. From here, yarn over, Insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. Just like for our middle cable stitch section, we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we have our first half double crochet row, we're gonna chain two, flip our work, and put one half double crochet into every stitch again. And now that we have our first two half double crochet rows, we're going to get started on our cable. So start with a chain two and flip our work. Into that first half double crochet row, into that first half double crochet, skipping our chain two, we're going to insert with a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook underneath that first half double crochet from our first row, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we're going to do three half double crochets into the tops of our previous row, but we are first going to need to skip that first stitch because this front post treble crochet counts as this stitch. So yarn over into that next stitch, 
insert with one, insert with two, and then three half double crochets. And now we're going to do a twist. So we're going to start by doing a yarn over of two. Taking a look at our row number one, we're going to start by counting out one, two, three stitches because these three half double crochet counts as these. And then we're going to count one extra. So here's one, two, three, four. We're going to insert our hook into the fifth. So insert your hook behind that fifth stitch, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, two, two. We're going to put one more front post treble crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over twice, into that next half double crochet, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now for the twist portion, we're going to put one front post treble crochet into that one stitch that we skipped. So we're going to yarn over one, two times, bring our hook back to that first half double crochet when we started off our twists. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Now in between our pillar and our twist, we should have a total of one, two, three half double crochets. From here, we're going to do another set of three half doubles and then a pillar. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to skip one, two, three stitches from the back because our twist counts as these three stitches. Insert your hook into the fourth with a half double crochet. There's our first, second, and our third half double crochet because it needs to be the same on both sides. From here, we're going to yarn over twice and do our pillar. So into the first row, we're going to skip one, two, three stitches, then into that fourth, insert with your pillar. So insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And to close off this row, we're going to put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch. There should be one space in between. Pull through and pull through three. From here, we need to make our way over to this side again. So chain two, flip your work. Put one half double crochet into every stitch. We have half double crocheted all the way back down, and we should have a total of four rows. From here, we're going to do a repeat of row three and row four until we have the same amount of rows as our middle cable stitch section. So I'm just going to get the next row started off with you guys, and then I'll let you guys go from there. So start with a chain two, flip your work. Start with your pillar, which is a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, and into our previous twist row or cable stitch row, we're going to insert with our first pillar. Skip one stitch from our previous row, and then put one single crochet and then put one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Let's do our twist. So we're now going to yarn over twice. Taking a look at our twist, we're going to skip that first twist stitch, and then insert your hook behind that second. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 Another front post treble crochet into that next stitch, yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then into that last. So yarn over twice, bring your hook back into that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Prepare for a half double crochet. Skip three stitches from our previous row and into that fourth. Put our first half double crochet. Do a set of three to repeat how we started this off. And from here, we're going to repeat rows three through four for the same amount of rows that we have for our middle cable stitch detail. And I'll meet you guys back when we have a total of four of them finished. All right, so I've just finished all four of my side cable stitch details. And now we're going to single crochet along the length of our work. We're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet, but we need to make sure we end on an even number. So let's get that started. So getting this started together into our first side half double crochet, 
we're going to insert with one single crochet into my next side half double crochet row, which is going to be this next row over here. We're just going to pull that last stitch out so we can see that gap. Insert your hook into there with two single crochets. Let's do this again. This is my next side half double. So I'm going to insert with one single. And then my next side half double right here, insert with two. If you guys have my numbers, I'm actually going to end on a total of 43 total single crochets. So I'll meet you guys back to show you how to end on an even number. But if you guys end on an even number, you guys are good to go. So do a chain up of one and cut. And do the same thing that we did here on all of our sides. And then I'll meet you back. I've made my way all the way down to my last side half double crochet. Like I stated in the previous clip, I end on an odd number. So since we need to end on an even, I'm going to insert into that last side half double with two single crochets. Now I have a total of 44 single crochets. From here, I'm going to do a chain up one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here for all of our other side cables, and I'll meet you back. I have single crocheted along the edges of my side cable stitch detail. I'm now going to work on the side panel, so the portion in between the middle and the side cables. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of the middle cable stitch section. And we're going to do the same amount of single crochets made as on our side cable stitch sections. We do need to end on an even number, so pull through, do a chain up of one, and then put one single crochet into the first side half double. And then two single crochet into the next side half double. Keep alternating between those two. Now that we have single crocheted all the way down, we're now going to work on our side panel sequence, which is going to be a stitch sequence of two moss stitch rows and one single crochet row. So now that we're at this corner, we're going to do a chain two. This prepares us for our moss stitch. The first chain counts as our turning chain. The second chain counts as a chain. Now we're going to flip our work. From here, we're going to skip that first stitch and then single crochet into the next. This gives us one chain space. Let's do this again. So chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next, and this is our next chain space. Let's do it one more time. Chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. Continue to do this, make your way all the way down. Our second row for our side panel is all done for our first moss stitch row. We're going to be doing one more moss stitch row. So to start those off, we're always going to do a chain of two and flip our work. From here, we're going to single crochet only into the chain one spaces. So we should have one single crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. We're going to skip that and single crochet into that chain one space. From here, chain one, skip one stitch, which is our single crochet stitch, and single crochet once into that chain one space. Chain one, into that gap, another single crochet. Repeat this all the way down. Our third row for our side panel is all finished, or our second moss stitch row. And now we're going to switch back to a single crochet row. So get it started on that. We're going to chain one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every stitch. So into that first stitch, insert with one single crochet. Into that chain one space as well one single crochet into that next stitch, one single into that chain one space, another single. We're going to repeat putting one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain of two, flip our work, and then start our sequence of two moss stitch rows and one single crochet row. We're going to repeat these three rows until we are three and a half inches away from the tip of our shoulder. And that's so that we can add our side cable stitch detail to it. Alright, so I'm back and I've just finished my side panel. I have a total of 8 rows and that's 2 inches for 5 centimeters. From here, we're going to now introduce our side cable stitch section. We're going to seam it together, forming our front panel, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So let's get this started. We're going to start with both our middle cable stitch section and our side cable stitch section with the detail faced up. We're now going to 
take one of the panels and make sure that the cable details are faced each other, sandwiching them on top of each other. Then we're going to do a single crochet seam. So I'm going to start by inserting my hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and into the corner stitch of the back panel, which is my working yarn. I'm going to pull through to a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to single crochet them together. So inserting your hook into that first available stitch into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook. Into that next available stitch into your back panel, insert your hook into there, and then single crochet. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert, and the next stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat the same side panel and seam that we did for this side, and then I will meet you guys back. My front panel is now all finished, and now we're going to work on our back panel. We're going to start by making a chain the same amount of single crochets we made on either side of our cable stitch details. I have a total of 44 single crochets, so I'm going to make a chain of 44. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off with a second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a single crochet. Into that next chain, insert with another single crochet, and put one single crochet into every chain. Now that we're at the end of our row, we're going to do the same row sequence as our side panels. So two moss stitch rows and a single crochet row. To get started on our moss stitch row, we're going to do a chain up of two. We're going to skip that first stitch, single crochet into the next. Let's do this one more time. Chain one, skip one stitch, and single crochet into the next. Repeat this all the way down our row. And now that we're at the end of our row number two, just to get started on our row number three or our second moss stitch row, I'm going to chain two, flip your work, and then into every chain one space, we're going to single crochet. So into this first chain one space, insert with a single crochet. Chain one, into that next chain one space, and single crochet. Now I'm going to repeat those three rows for the same amount of stitches and rows we have for our side panels and our middle cable. So as an example, we have nine stitches for our middle cable. I have a total of eight rows for my side panel, and I'm going to add one more for the single crochet along the edge of this side cable. So this is a total of nine. I'm going to add the same thing on the other side. So I'll be doing a total of 27 rows. When I have those rows finished, I'm going to seam our two side cable stitch details the same way that we seamed it to the front, and then the entire back piece will be finished, and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so the entirety of my back panel is all finished. And once we have that, we're going to single crochet along the tops of our back and our front panel. Getting started on the back, I'm gonna insert my hook into the corner stitch. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through to a chain up of one to secure. I'm going to put one single crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you back once we reach our side rows to show you guys where we're gonna be inserting our hook into each of these. Now that we've single crocheted all the way across, we're ready to start working into our side rows. So finding my first side row is going to be this side single crochet row right here. If yours is a moss stitch row, that's completely fine. Just find that first stitch and insert with one single crochet. My next row is this side moss stitch row. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet. And this moss stitch row is my next side row one single crochet into there. We're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left to a chain up of one and cut. We've just finished single crocheting across the top of our back panel, and now we're going to do the same thing for our front panel. So insert your hook into the corner stitch, and put one single crochet into every stitch, one single crochet into every side row, and make our way all the way down, and do a chain up of one and cut. I finished single crocheting along the tops of both of my panels, 
and now we're going to start working on our sleeve. We're going to start with our sleeve cable first. I did finish one side so I can give you guys some numbers, but we're going to start by placing the front and back panels on ourselves, and we're going to insert our stitch marker into the stitches that's nearest to the base of your neck. Be sure it's in multiples of three because when we work our cables into the panels, we don't want to end mid-row. I inserted my stitch markers into the 15th stitch from the edge on both sides, and that's four inches or 10 centimeters in. Next, we're going to take both of our panels and lay them down cable side up, single crochets facing each other. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the left panel's stitch that's right before our stitch marker. And we're all going to start by making a chain of six. When we have our chain of six, we're going to slip stitch into the stitch on the right panel that's right before our stitch marker. Yarn over and pull through everything. Now our front and back panel are attached. We now need to work our way up to the next row. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker, and then I'm going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there is one, and then there's two. I'm going to flip my work, and we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain, so we should have a total of six. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. I'll meet you back at the end of this row to show you how to connect it into the base. Now that we have half double crocheted into every chain, I'm going to take out the stitch marker. I'm going to count up two stitches. So since my chain is into here, I'm going to count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second stitch. And now this row is closed off. Just like for our middle cable, we're going to do one more half double crochet row. So to get started on all of our half double crochet rows, we're going to only slip stitch up one and flip our work. We're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch. To close our row number two, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, just like that. And to get started on our cable stitch rows or row number three, we're going to slip stitch up two. So there's one, there's two, and flip our work. Now we're going to repeat our middle cable detail, but without the outside stitches. So let's get that started. We're going to start with two front post double treble crochets. So yarn over one, two, three times. Looking at our first half double crochet row, we're going to skip one, skip two, and insert your hook into that third half double crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing into that next half double crochet. So yarn over three times and insert with a front post double treble. Working into those two stitches that we skipped, we're going to put one front post double treble into each of those. Yarn over three times, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Then once more into that empty half double crochet. And then we're going to close off with a set of two front post treble crochets into the last two stitches. Yarn over. Insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. To close every cable stitch row into the base, we're going to count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into that second. Now we need to work our way back to the other side, so we're going to do a half double crochet row across. For the half double crochet rows, only slip stitch up one stitch and flip your work. Now 
Put one half double crochet into every stitch. We made our way all the way down with our half double crochet row. So slip stitch only into that next stitch to close this row off. To get started on our next cable stitch row, or row number five, slip stitch up the next two stitches and flip your work. And now we can get started on row number five. Start with a set of two front post treble crochets into the first two stitches from our previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're now going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets, skipping over the next two stitches. So yarn over one, two, three times. Skip these next two stitches. Insert your hook into the next. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 two. Yarn over three times. Insert into that last stitch. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. Now, just like we did for our middle cable stitch section, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets working into that window that we just made. So yarn over one, two, three times, hang on to your yarn, pull all the way down, and then find those two stitches into that window. Insert your hook behind that first stitch, pull through, and close off with a front post double treble crochet. And then we have one more left to do. So yarn over one, two, three times. Pull our work down, find that last stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Now we don't have any more stitches left to go into, so let's connect it into the base. We're gonna count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into that second, And now let's half double crochet back. Slip stitch up just one stitch and flip your work. And put one half double crochet into every stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch into the base. So this is what our rows one through six should look like so far. We're now gonna repeat rows three through six until we don't have any more stitches left to go into, into our panels and then I'll meet you guys back. I have just reached the edge of my panels. I'm now going to repeat my cables till I have the length of the sleeve that I want, keeping in mind that we will have a cuff as well. And to make the next section easier and cleaner for us, I'll show you how to end every cable row. So continue with the same sequence that we have and I'll meet you back on the last stitch of your next cable stitch row. I'm just about to finish my repeat of row number three of our cable. I've left my last stitch and I'm going to show you guys how to close this off. So we're going to combine our last stitch with a half double crochet. Since this last stitch is a front post treble, we're still going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into that last stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through. We're going to yarn over and pull through two until we just have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, should have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. We now have two loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into the last stitch from our previous row. We're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through. We should have four loops on our hook now, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. From here, do a chain up of two and flip our work. I'm now going to do my next cable stitch row, which is my repeat of row number five. I'm going to leave that last stitch so I can show you guys how to do a front post double treble crochet combined with a half double crochet, and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. All right, to close off our repeat of our row number five cable stitch, we are going to do the same thing as we did for the last one, but yarn over twice. We're going to insert our hook into the last stitch, this cable stitch row, and pull through. We're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, should have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, 
pull through two. You should now have two loops on your hook. So yarn over and insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. And then yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. Chain two, flip your work and put one half double crochet into every stitch. Repeat these rows until we get the length of our sleeve and then I'll meet you guys back. My sleeve cable section is all finished. I have a total of 57 rows and from the base all the way to the end, I have 19 inches or 48 centimeters. I did do a chain up a one and cut and we're now gonna start working on our underarm. Counting from the top, we're gonna insert our stitch marker into an even number of stitches where we want our underarm to start. I've inserted my stitch marker into the 20th stitch from the top and that's six inches or 15 centimeters along both sides. And getting started on just one, we're going to start by inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of two. From here, we are going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. Maintain doing a moss stitch row all the way until we reach our stitch marker. Now that we have made our way all the way up to our stitch marker with our first moss stitch row, we're going to do one more moss stitch row and then a single crochet row with a decrease of three into the top. So to get started on our moss stitch row, we're going to chain two and flip our work. Into that chain one space, insert your hook with a single crochet. Maintain doing this until we reach the bottom of this row. And now that we're at the bottom of our row, we're now going to do a single crochet row. So chain one, flip your work and put one single crochet into every stitch until we have three left and I'll show you how to do a decrease of three. We've put one single crochet into every stitch and we have one, two, three stitches left. And now we're gonna do our decrease of three single crochets. So we're gonna insert our hook into that next stitch, pull through, into that next stitch, pull through, and then into that last chain one space, and pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all four. From here, we're gonna chain two, flip your work, and then start with our moss stitch row. So I'm just going to get this first stitch started with you guys. We're going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. We're gonna continue our sequence of two moss stitch rows with one single crochet row where we always do a decrease of three into the top of this portion until this reaches mid underarm. I'm gonna do a total of four rows, do a chain up one and cut, and I'm gonna do the same thing we did here on the other side and I'll meet you back so that we can seam our underarms together. I've just finished doing the underarm underneath both my panels and now we're going to seam it together. So the first thing we're going to do is flip our work inside out because we want all of our seams facing the same direction. I'm going to insert my hook into both the front corner loop and the back panels corner loop. And from here I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything. Do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're going to single crochet, making sure we're going into both the front and the back panel at the same time. So start by inserting your hook into that first available stitch into the front panel. Find that same stitch in the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. Let's do just one more. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook. Next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single. Do this, working your way all the way up, and when we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. My underarm portion is now all finished, and now we're gonna start working on the sleeve. So what we're first gonna do is insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our cable stitch detail that we just made, and then we're going to put one to two single crochet into every side half double crochet row. So inserting our yarn onto our hook, we're going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Into our first side half double crochet, I'm going to insert with one single crochet, 
and then into my next, I'm going to insert with two. So the same way that we did the side of our cabled stitch details. We're going to keep alternating between one to two single crochets all the way down until we reach our last side half double crochet row right before we go into the body. And I'll meet you guys back. We just single crocheted all the way down the side of our cable stitch section. And now we're going to continue our single crochets going down our arm hole. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we have an even amount of single crochets along our cable stitch section. If you guys ended on an odd number, add one extra stitch to that last side half double crochet. I don't need to, so once when I have this, I'm going to insert my stitch marker into that last stitch that we have. Once we get there, we are going to put one single crochet into every stitch. And I'll meet you back at our underarm portion. We've made our way all the way down to our underarm portion. We're going to put one single crochet into every side row that we have. I have a total of four underarm rows along one side before I reach my seam. So let's do my four single crochets. Find our first side row, which is this moss stitch row, and insert my hook with just one single crochet. This is my next row. I'm going to single crochet into there. My next row is a single crochet row, so find that side loop single crochet and then I have just one more row which is this one right here and single crochet. Once we reach our last side row to go into before we go up the other side we're going to insert our stitch marker into that stitch and then on the other side of our side seam I'm going to put one single crochet into that next side row. I'm going to insert another stitch marker into that first stitch just so we have an even amount of stitches along both sides of our stitch marker and then from here continue to put one single crochet into every side row one single crochet into every stitch when it comes to doing single crochets into the side of our cable stitch section we want to make sure that we have an even amount of stitches just like how we did for the other side and we're going to insert our stitch marker into the first single crochet that we do so that it matches this side that we have over here and I'll meet you back along this end. I've just single crocheted my way all the way down and now we're going to start working on our sleeve. So from this corner we're going to chain one and we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch until we are two stitches right before our stitch marker. So just to do the first single crochet I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet. I'll meet you guys back two stitches before our stitch marker. We single crochet all the way down and we have one, two stitches before our stitch marker. Into the next one, two, three stitches, we're going to do a decrease of three single crochets. So let's insert our hook into that next stitch, pull through, next stitch, pull through, and then into that stitch marker stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all four. Now we're going to slip stitch into that next available stitch on the other side of our stitch marker to close off this row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up one stitch and flip our work. And we're going to do our same sequence of one single crochet and two moss stitch rows. So let's get started on our next moss stitch row. We're going to start with a chain one, and then we're going to skip the first stitch from our previous row and single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. Maintain this small stitch sequence all the way down. When you reach the end of our row, do a chain two, flip your work, and then single crochet into every chain one space with a chain one in between. I'll meet you back to show you how we're going to connect it into the base one more time. We have just made our way back down to the base with our moss stitch row or our third row in total. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to slip stitch it into the base and get started on our next single crochet row and then from there it's going to be a repeat. So into that next available stitch into the base I'm going to slip stitch into there. Now we have one single, two moss stitch rows. To get started on our next single crochet row we're going to slip stitch up one stitch, flip your work, 
and into the three stitches nearest to the base, we're always going to do a decrease of three single crochets. So into that first stitch, I'm going to insert my hook, pull through, next chain one space, pull through, and then next stitch, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all four. Put one single crochet into every space and chain one space all the way down. We reach the end, do a chain of two, flip your work, and continue with two moss stitches and a single crochet row where we do a decrease of three into the three stitches nearest to the base. We're going to keep repeating those rows all the way down until we reach our stitch marker and then do a chain of a one and cut. One half of our sleeve is all done and we are going to repeat the exact same thing that we did here on the other side. So just to get this started with you guys, I'm going to insert my hook into this corner stitch. Start with single crochet with a decrease of three along the end and then do two more stitch rows and then one single crochet row after that. I'll meet you guys back. We don't have any more stitches left to go into so we can seam our sleeve. I have just finished the entirety of my sleeve and now we're ready to seam it. So we're going to start by flipping our work inside out. Now that our work is flipped inside out, we're going to do another single crochet seam. So I'm just going to do the first few with you guys. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and into the corner stitch of the back panel. We're going to pull through to a chain up of one to secure. Now working into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook and find that same stitch on the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down. When we get to the end, do a chain up of one and cut. Now that I have seen my sleeve, now we're going to get started on our cuff. So I did do a chain up of one and cut, and I'm going to insert my hook into any one of our side rows that we have along the bottom. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to do a decrease of two single crochets into every side row that we have. So let's get that started. Together, we're first going to need to find our first side row. This is my first right over here, which is this moss stitch row. So I'm gonna find that top loop, insert my hook into there, and pull through. My next side row is this single crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook into that top loop, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over, and pull through three. Let's do that again. My next two rows are two moss stitch rows, so I'm going to single crochet, so I'm going to insert my hook into that. Next row's side loop, yarn over, pull through, and then into that next row as well, pull through, yarn over, Pull through all three. Let's do this one more time. Into my next side row, which is a side single crochet row, find that loop, pull through. My next row is this side moss stitch row, insert into that loop, pull through, pull through three. Continue to do a decrease of two, make my way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space, and I'll meet you back. Now that I have single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. I want mine to be about 6 inches or 15 centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 20. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain. We're going to do a chain up of 3. This counts as our turning chain, and into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a double crochet. So yarn over, preparing for a double crochet. Insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off with a double. Let's do the next one together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to attach it to the base. So to attach it, we're going to count up one, two available stitches, slip stitch into that second stitch. 
Now our first row is closed off, so let's get started on our next. We're going to need to slip stitch up the next two stitches as well. So slip stitch up one, slip stitch up two, and flip your work. From here, we're going to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And we're going to continue to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain up of three, flip your work, and continue to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did, and I'll meet you back when we don't have any more stitches left to seam our cuff. We've just made our way all the way around with our back loop double crochets. We don't have any more stitches left to go into, so now we're going to seam our cuff. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are facing the same direction. And this is going to be a single crochet seam, the same way that we've seen pretty much everything else. So let's just do the first one together. Into that first available stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook. And then into that first available stitch into the back panel. Insert your hook. Yarn over. Pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Keep doing this, making our way all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up a one and cut, and then do everything that we did here on the other side. Both of my sleeves are now finished, and now we're going to start on our bottom band. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into any one of our bottom stitches, and we're just going to put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. So we have a couple side rows to go into, but just like before, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into each of those, then one single crochet into each of these stitches. When we make our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. We have single crocheted all the way around the bottom of our piece, and now we're going to work on the length that we want our bottom band to be. I want mine to be about three inches, or eight centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 10. When we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of three. That's our turning chain. Yarn over, preparing for a double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, insert with a double crochet, and put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we put one double crochet into every chain, we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So we're going to count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into that second stitch to close our first row. And then just like for our cuff, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row. There's one, there's my second. Flip your work and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. Before you reach the end, do a chain of three, Flip your work, put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, slip stitching it into the base the same way that we just did. Repeat those two rows and I'll meet you guys back until we don't have any more stitches left so we can seam our bottom band. All right, we have just made our way all the way around with our back loop double crochet rows. We don't have any more stitches left to go into, so now we're going to seam it the same way that we have seamed everything else so far. So make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out. And we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitch into the front panel. And then insert your hook into that next available stitch into the back panel. And then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down, and then do a chain up of one and cut. We are now all ready to get started on our hood. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into any one of the stitches along our collar. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through. We're going to put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Slip stitch into this chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back after chain up of one and cut. Now that we have single crocheted along the entirety of our collar, we're now ready to get started on our hood. So we're first going to want to insert our stitch markers into the spot where we want our hood to start. I inserted mine into the corner right where our sleeve cable meets our front panel 
along both sides. Yours can be further in, further out, whatever you guys want to do. From here, we're going to pick one of our stitch markers. I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch marker stitch. I'm going to pull through, and just for this first row, our chain up of three counts as a stitch. So after a chain up of three, we're going to do five double crochets. So we're going to have a total of six stitches. So let's get that started. Here is one, two stitches, three, four, five, and six. Into the seventh, we're going to do an increase of two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into there with one, and then into that same stitch, two double crochets. We should now have six double crochets, counting our chain three, and then increase into the seven. Now we're going to do another set of six double crochets, and then increase into the seven. We're going to maintain this sequence, making our way all the way around until we reach our next stitch marker. Now that we have made our way all the way around to this next stitch marker, we're going to do the same type of increases until we get the width of the hood that we want. So I'm just going to get this started off with you guys. We're going to start by doing a chain of three and flip our work. We're going to put one back loop double crochet into the next six stitches. So not counting my chain three, I have a total of six back loop double crochets into that seventh to an increase of two back loop double crochets just like that. Repeat this sequence, making our way all the way around. And we are going to repeat these types of increases until we get the width that we want. So I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I do. I am back with my increased rows. I have a total of three rows right here, and now this is as wide as I want my hood to be. So from here, I'm going to do a chain up of three, flip my work, and just put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. And I'm going to keep repeating that until this works our way all the way up to the crown of your head. Alright, I am back with the height of my hood. I have a total of 19 rows, and this is 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And then from here, we're going to start working on the middle portion of our hood. So we're going to insert our stitch marker into an even amount of stitches from the edge, and this can be as wide or as short as you guys want. I inserted my stitch markers into the 22nd stitch in. Now to get started on the middle section of our hood, we're going to start by inserting our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our stitch marker, working towards the outer edge. So I'm going to insert my hook into here, I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. From here, we're going to yarn over, pairing for a double crochet, and then we're going to double crochet, inserting our hook into the stitch on the other side of our stitch marker. So nothing is going to be worked into here. So insert your hook with your first double crochet. Just like that, we are going to continue to put one double crochet into every stitch until the stitch right before our next stitch marker. Now that we have double crocheted all the way across, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch into the base. So just like how we started this side, we're going to skip this stitch that our stitch marker is in, and then into the next stitch that's going nearest to the base. We're going to slip stitch into there, and now this row is all closed off. To work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, there's two, and flip your work. And then we're going to work our way back down, putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So let's do the first. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through with a double crochet. Continue to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch making sure that we have the same amount of stitches as the first row. We're not doing any increasing or decreasing. And now that we have double crocheted all the way down, we're now going to slip stitch into the base. So from here, we're going to count up the next two available stitches. There's one, and there's two. 
slip stitch into that second stitch to close our row number two. And we are going to keep repeating this. So slip stitch up the next two stitches, flip your work, one back loop double crochet into every stitch. And then we're going to keep going back and forth until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. All right, so I have just made my way all the way down. I don't have any more stitches left to go into, so I did do a chain up a one and cut. And we are going to finish this piece off by single crocheting along the entirety of our hood. So taking a look at the next available stitch into our collar, I insert my hook into there, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and into every side double crochet row, I'm going to be putting two single crochets. So just to do the first one, into this first side half double crochet, the first row of our hood, I'm going to insert with one, then into that same side stitch with two. There is one and two, and we are going to keep doing this, making our way all the way up and around. Slip stitch into that next available stitch into the collar, and then do a chain of a one and cut. And now that we have finished single crocheting along the entirety of our hood, we are actually all done. The last thing I'm going to do is weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our cable stitch hoodie is all done. Now, I know I talk about how much I love construction all the time, but I need to say it. I had so much fun making this piece and figuring out each panel and piecing it together like a puzzle. And if you guys like it too, be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out on future creations. There is a root and pattern down below. Use offer code TCTTIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us where you'd be if you could be anywhere right now. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. And the link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.